Hi, so on today's video, I want to show you how to fix the, uh, the problem with a uh, chain keeps coming off on a S model uh, Rosso ATV. Uh, the design of the S model and the Q model would be exactly the same on the rear end. So that would be a universal uh, video for both machines. But so I have a video how to adjust the chain properly if it's uh, too loose and it's wobbling too much. So I don't have to explain you that. But if you look into this video, you must have this issue that chain is, is keep coming off. So it will come off in two, for two reasons. One of the reasons would be that chain is too loose, as I told you before, and has too much wobbling slack. Or the motor, a uh, little sprocket right here, this small one, and this big one is not aligned. Well, in my case, it's aligned, as you see, it's perfectly straight, but unfortunately, it was not like that. So I'm going to show you how I fix that. So this is right now, I would say perfectly good, but I'm just going to show you what I did. So I'm removing the two bolts right now, and I'm going to put motor on the side. I'm going to show you what I did. So basically, the, the plate is was welded must have welded crookedly and the, the motor had to be shifted to the closer to the sprocket because the way it was sitting on original uh, holes on these oval holes it was sitting uh, like quarter inch to the right too much so i had to shift the motor to the left so i had to drill a new holes right here four holes well not four six because those ones are for the chain tensioners and uh, once I moved those holes to the left the chain tensioner had to go to the left also so six holes that I had to modify so how I did this I did it with a tool like this this is called a, a metal burr so this burr is basically is doing uh, pretty good job it's uh, uh, of, of grinding or c cutting any kind of metal side uh, on, on the side sideways so I just used the bore and I basically drilled it on the side well if you don't have this tool you can use a regular drill bit it's just gonna take you much longer to do this one is gonna take you literally five minutes to modify all of those six holes this one is doing great job you can buy those separately probably about five to ten dollars a piece anywhere um, the Home Depot or, or eBay Amazon I had the set they come in different shapes uh, so you can choose any shape you want and whatever you need for your job so how did I align the motor I'm gonna show you before I how I decided how much is going to move and what is going to move so the motor was sitting right there right now and uh, if you will take a little piece of metal and if you will uh, uh, put uh, against your rear sprocket, you see that it's off that much. If this would be originally sitting on the, on the original holes. So I had to move it like this. Yes. So then I took a, I took a, a red marker and there was a metal so I just mark where it's going to be and I knew how it's going to be cut at which exactly location so uh, this is just a piece of metal if you want to use this piece of metal with your vice grips if you have one at home it's going to stay there it's not going to go anywhere so as long as that piece of metal, metal is, is pretty straight you're going to align it and it's going to be really really nice now, uh, remember that. Remember that in the future, the chain, the chain, will stretch, and you will have to adjust your motor with those chain tensioners. That's why the those chain the chain tensioners that they're going to adjust and move the motor all the way up or forward. So you will need to grind it off a little bit more in the future maybe six months from now maybe more but for now it's good 
but in the future you will either have to grind it off more to stretch that chain uh, I mean to, to make it tight again not stretch to make it tight again or you will have to buy a new chain that will not be so stretched all right well this is the only uh, possible way I found the easiest way how you can modify that chain and make it align again um, under 10 minutes I would say if you have a right uh, tool uh, like this one that I showed you it's really possible really fast and your chain will not come off anymore okay thank you